It's time to finish the Norwood suite. This outfit is pretty much the entire image of Peter Norwood. Anyone could wear it and be Peter Norwood, just toss pickles at people, treat musicians like shit and take credit for everyone. Is that a clipping issue? This is the character the game revolves around. Guys, you could have sorted this one out. It's time to wear it. He's gone. Oh well. The music's different. Funny. See, the mirrors totally work. Was this poster glowing earlier? Let's look for a way out. That bright glow upstairs must mean something. Peter is getting high on music. He's overdone that a little, I think. Oh, we also have a blue portal to go through. No, it doesn't come back. And who are you? She was sleeping outside our room in the beginning. I give you the end credits. Among other people, it includes Pants Mingo. You may be wondering if that QR code works. Well, I tried, but it didn't work even off the high-quality recording. It's probably because of texture compression. Now, before we actually proceed to the ending, I'm going to pester everyone as Norwood. There will be some new dialogue, and we may even find the remaining members of the band. A musical game about music made by musicians. Why the fuck is there only one area where you can interact with music? In fact, the way the sound system is set up, we can't even stand in the doors and mix two different pieces from two rooms. One track has to fade out before the other one starts playing. Thank you. 
Yes, I'm totally Peter Norwood, worship me peasants. <laughs> Okay, we are armed with vibes, apparently. Who else can we find? Nadia is still on about pizza. There is no one left either on the second or the third floors. Nothing new in our room. And she is still down. The front desk are our next victims. This guy worked properly this time. In my first run, he kept telling me that the pool guy still hadn't been to his room. Let's start with that corner. He was the porn stash band member. It seems that the hip high stage blocks the line of sight. Peter Norwood. anyone else in the area? Oh, right, the pool people. 
I'd like to draw your attention to the water effects applied even to the parts of the character body which are not submerged. How do you fuck this up? And what about these two? They are not entertained. Next up, the barn. We've got two groups of people to annoy them. And that's it. Well, there are the ladies downstairs, but we've seen their reaction. Thanks to a bug. Yep, the same dialogue is playing again. Well, thanks, comrade. I don't know why the game autosaves here, because most of the missable stuff has already been locked out by now. Mitchell and Webb Banana Dance. Look it up. It's slightly more fun to watch than a giant banana clipping through a barely moving model. What's wrong with your face? Please tell me that this is the face you get if you fuck up the editor settings. In whatever program these guys were using to generate models. Oh, you 
won't let me see the DJ. Is the face clipping through the back? It isn't. Now that's a surprise. Why does a hotel have such a massive basement? Let's pull the plug on this crap. Well, don't you look normal, weirdo. They're shutting down one by one. Did you see that? That was someone walking. That's the first time we saw a human walking in this game. This is Nadia's theme. And that's Nadia, so she does get a different dialogue. Have I got anything? Oh, right. She's not missing out much. The whole wall moves. How lazy is that? Nadia knows something about Muriel's music. Mm -hmm. 
Before we proceed to end it all, let's check out anything we may have missed in this hall. And that's all he has to say. How tall is he? How come the height of everything is so fucked up in this game? That's not a circus poster, is it? Um... These are Norwood's associates. And they are staring at me. The bold lady, the nipple terrorist, the high gay cowboy, the terminator, and Blade. Are they moving? I think the busts are moving forward and back a little so that they never block each other's line of sight. This just may be the best bit of coding in the game. And now, the plot twist. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Peter Norwood was a fucking robot. Uh, not, not literally a fucking robot, you'd have to go to New Vegas for that. But here is the Peter Norwood workshop. Lots of dolls, lots of body parts. No wonder everyone has a piece of Norwood's outfit. They're a dime a dozen, apparently. We're still wearing a hat indoors. Someone's been sleeping with Norwood too. Yeah, so how's that for a plot twist? <laughs> What do you mean, ready to go? If you want to know what the ending actually means, the developers explain it in a thread in Steam Discussions. Behold, the worst music player model of the last couple of decades. You see the texturing on that tray drawer thing? That's budget PlayStation 1 level of 3D graphics. Oh, right, I didn't put it in. Is this what you want, Bogart? Cutscene time!
Did you see that walking animation? I think it's homemade. Seriously though, the best way to present music in a game is still a scrolling or a rail shooter. In conclusion, fuck art. Let's take up something fun, like structural engineering. <laughs>